Hi! In this video, I will show you how to create your own hardware preset. Please be aware that everything I describe in this video is only possible if you own the flagship version of Touche, not Touche SE. Before we start, ensure that your hardware synth and Touche have been connected and that they can communicate with one another. We outlined how to do that in our previous video. To create a new parameter mapping for a synth, open the menu and select New Hardware Preset. The first thing we'll see is that a hardware preset is very similar to a software preset, but it has two tabs instead of just one, MIDI and CV. Within the MIDI tab, we can see eight slots in the slot center. If you don't yet know the basic workflow of choosing parameters for the slots, assigning the axis of touche to a certain slot and so on, then please refer to our video about creating software presets. It's all explained there. Within the drop-down list of each slot, we can select the CC messages that we want to send. But manually selecting cryptic CC numbers can be a bit painful because these messages do different things depending on which device you send them to. We would have to look up in our synth manual each time which CC corresponds to what and which would make for a tedious process. And that's why we've done this work for you. Lie contains more than 80 hardware templates for a broad selection of popular synthesizers. You can easily find these templates in the browser when you filter for hardware presets. In contrast to the preset packs that were mapped for specific factory sounds of your synth, the hardware templates don't need to be downloaded and installed separately. They are included in the Lie installer. For this example, I have a Moog Subsequent 37 hooked up to Touche. I initialized its sound engine and will just turn up the sub oscillator and the second oscillator a bit to have a thicker basis to work with. We're going to fill that init sound with some live from Touche now. If you double click on the template for Subsequent 37, you'll see that instead of a list of erratic CC numbers, the actual parameter names appear in the drop down lists. This is way more useful. So let's select Filter Cutoff, Noise Level, Filter Resonance and the Mod Wheel to demonstrate. Now we can assign one of the four axes of Touche to each slot and set minimum and maximum values just like we do for a software preset. Now let's have a look at the Control Voltage tab. If you're working with a synthesizer that has CV inputs, you could of course link them to Touche CV outputs with a standard CV cable. This works in parallel to the MIDI functionality of Touche. Working with CV offers the satisfaction of quickly plugging directly to a parameter and has theoretically infinite resolution since it is just analog voltage. With MIDI CCs, you are limited to 128 digital steps for a parameter value in most cases. In the CV world though, you need one cable per parameter. That's why the CV page features only four slots. It's one slot for each CV output on Touche. By default, each CV out is assigned to one axis, but we can easily change that. You can assign a different voltage range from the drop-down list to each of the slots. Combining this with the minimum and maximum values, as well as the sensitivity curves, leaves hardly any limit when it comes to customizing the voltage being sent to your heart's content. We've seen that hardware presets have two tabs, MIDI and CV. All of that info comprises one hardware preset and to save it we go to Menu, Save as Preset and give it a name. 
It then appears in the browser like any other preset and could easily be transferred to the internal memory of your touche via memory view, as explained in the last video. It is important to understand that when your hardware synth receives CC parameter values from Touche, these will override the current values in your synth. Since Touche is that sensitive and will send CCs at the lightest touch, the minimum values that you set for a parameter in Lie will effectively become an inherent part of your synth sound settings. When dealing with hardware synths over MIDI, you can't save the sound preset together with a mapping in a Lie preset, as you can do when working exclusively with VST instruments. It means I need to save both the sound in the synth itself, at least if I made changes to it, as well as the hardware preset in Lie. You will be required to tailor each Lie hardware preset individually for each sound that you want to control. If you don't want to look for the synth's preset that is matching the Lie hardware preset manually each time, you could set up a program change message that will recall a certain memory location in your hardware synth as soon as you load the Lie hardware preset. Set this up in a little menu that opens when clicking on the eye icon. Here you can also choose the MIDI channel that the hardware preset will send on. Please refer to your synth's manual to find out which program change message your hardware synth expects you to send when you want to navigate to a certain preset number inside a certain bank. That's it on how to create or edit hardware presets. In the next video, we will see that these hardware presets could also make sense if you just want to control parameters in your computer that can't be mapped with Lie. Thanks for watching.